morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. I tried recording this video yesterday and for some reason my camera decided to be not nice to me, so I'm trying it again today. So this is the card we're making. These are two different versions of it, just different sentiments on it. And I use different stamp sets. But today we're going to do one that says Happy Birthday and I'll show you what um, I used. I used the Ornate Borders dies and I used this die and then this piece right here. So I die cut the flowers first on the edge of a piece of uh, black cardstock that is five and a half by four and this kind of snip the little edge right there so you have to be really careful that you don't get it too close but we won't worry about that because I'm not going to do it over for this card I used peaceful moments stamp set and the thank you and then for the inside it says ever so much for everything that came from the ornate thanks stamp set for this card I use the mini mates happy anniversary and then celebrate it's your day so that's what I used for stamping on these well for this card that we're doing today I used the peaceful moment stamp set stamp the happy birthday and then for the inside I put wishing you every happiness so those are the stamp sets and these are the dies and then I of course used the stitched oval framelits for the happy birthday and the um, this one is the layering ovals so this is the third from the smallest and this is second to the smallest on those and I use the butterfly punch to punch out the small butterfly and I just use some scraps of this um, shimmery rainbow shimmery paper that's what I used on this card and I die cut this piece from that uh, rainbow shimmer paper and I die cut with this first and then I put this around the edge right here after to get it separated and on this one you just have to be careful because we're going to put that down the center and then this piece is five and a half by about three and one eighth this is five and a half by one and one fourth and then these pieces are five and a half by one fourth so those are the pieces I use this is um, Bermuda Bay five and a half by seven and a half and then you want to score it at three and one fourth because we're going to first thing we're going to do is glue this to here I wanted to talk real quick about before we get started on making this card about the um, paper sale that's going on the designer series paper I'm going to show you with my hopefully you'll be able to see this without too much trouble on my iPad so it's 15% off and there's the artistry blooms tis the season forever greenery poinsettia place trimming the town plaid tidings toll tidings peony garden whale of a time heartwarming hugs magic in the night snowflake splendor in good taste playing with patterns and playful pets those are all on sale until the end of this month October 31st and they're 15 percent off the other thing I wanted to um, show you really quick like was this new 
curvy celebrations. If it's available for customers starting November 3rd until January 4th. If you're a demonstrator, it's available now. Um, let me show you what it is. There's this stamp set. I hope you can see it. I might get it any closer. Let's see. There. Okay. There's the quite curvy stamp set, the curvy dies, the curvy Christmas stamp set, and the classic Christmas 6x6 designer series paper, and there's 48 sheets. And as a demonstrator, you can buy this bundle, and it's 10% off. So if you aren't a demonstrator and you want to get this bundle now, then you can sign up under me. Go to my website, elainedotson.stampinup.net, and click on Join Now. And then your $99, or your $125, you can purchase this, plus some other things, for $99. So you save quite a bit. Or you can wait until uh, November the 4th to order. So I want to make sure and tell you that I have the stamp set sets. This is one of them. And then I had it all stacked here. <laughs> My desk is so small. It's, oh, here it is. I can't fit much on it. So there's this stamp set. Zoom that back out. This stamp set. The dies. And then the paper. So this is one side of the paper and this you don't have to always use it for Christmas this would be good for Valentine's Day this these dots and, and then this is the other side of the paper and those are six by six pieces of paper so that's that I wanted to make sure and tell you that and there's, I have a host code. It's on my blog. If you spend $50 to $149.99 and use that host code, I'll send you a set of the rhinestone basic jewels. Okay, now that that's all done, let's get started on this card. So first thing, excuse me, that I'm going to do is glue this piece to the front of the card. To the front of the card and I'm going to put the glue on the card and not on the uh, black piece because of the I don't want it going over the glue going over the edge so we'll glue that on there first yeah I tried to do this video yesterday and for some reason the camera stopped and then when I went to check to see if the video was there, it wasn't there. So I thought, well, I'll just do it today. So we're going to glue that on there like that. Then we're going to take these pieces right here and glue one on each side. Now you can make it and leave a margin here like this. I didn't. Oops. Put that butterfly back on there. He came off. Put it back on there. Anyway, you can do it right up to the edge, or you can leave a bit of a margin on the side, however looks best, you know, to you. Hopefully he'll stay stuck. I think on this card, I might leave a little bit of a margin. And you just want a really thin very thin line of glue on here so it doesn't ooze over the edge. Get up here where you can see it. I'm do it without dropping it. I was really having trouble hanging on to things yesterday too, so. A little line of glue on there. And you want to make sure that your pattern matches. I'll show you what I mean. 
for this is dark up here and green down here. So I want to make sure this one goes the same direction. Because I think it would not look good if it didn't. That's just my opinion. And then you're going to want to put one over here. Just like so. Line that up to the edge. Now on this, you can either glue the your this piece here or <clears throat> have it like this because of this right here I think I'm not going to worry about it <laughs> you want to make sure this goes in the same direction as well so you can glue that down to the inside <clears throat> right up to the edge like so now that curvy celebrations I believe it's going to be in the new January catalog but if you want it early now's the time to buy it and we're going to glue this to the inside. I'll have all my the sizes and paper that I used on my blog, so you just have to give me time to get it on there after this uploads. So then you're just going to put this right up to the edge here, not too close to your fold line, but you want to make sure when you close your card that you can't see the white. And this is Whisper White, and I used um, Memento Black ink for stamping. I don't know why I'm getting glue on there. It must have been on my fingers, but we can fix that. I have this handy dandy little eraser, and it erases glue off of stuff. I think I bought this at Michael's or somewhere. There. That looks good. Close it, and then we're going to glue this together, and we're going to set it aside because we're not quite ready to put it on. So we're going to center it on our uh, piece of Bermuda Bay, just like so. Okay, set that aside. Now we're going to glue this on the front. The way I did that, and I'm sure you've probably seen other people do this, put a pile of glue on your silicone mat, because you can clean it off later, and you take your sponge, and you're just going to sp sponge this, it's like so. Try not to move it, because you don't want glue on the front. You only want it on the back. Just like that. Okay. Turn it over. And we're just going to put this right on the front, right down the center. Best you can get it. And I know there might be a little bit of glue, like right in there, but perfection is a little hard to get, especially when your fingers don't work. And I'm going to take my sentiment, take Stampin' Dimensionals. put it on the back. I think on my next video I will do some um, demonstrate some cards using the curvy celebrations so it's something if you are interested in them 
you can have some ideas of what to make with them. So I'm just going to center this right in the middle of the card, just like so. And I'm going to take my butterflies, and I think I'll put a yellow one at the top like I did on the other card. And I just curved the wings up. Put a small. You can use glue dots, but I'm just using liquid glue. One here. And I'm going to take this pinkish colored one. A little glue on there. Put it right here by the happy birthday. And then I think I'll take this one. No, actually, I think I want the purple one. Hmm. Actually, this one looks good. Decisions, decisions. A little bit of glue right there, I think. There. I'm going to put it right here towards the bottom. And then I'm going to take my rhinestones and find my little tool that I like to use. And I'm going to put two on each butterfly, right, like this. Just adds a little shininess and bling to the card. I was trying to think of ways to use this rainbow glimmer paper and I thought this was really pretty. that and that's your card there's three different they're all the same just the sentiments changed on these cards a little bit of glue on there so I can get that off there we go so those are your cards you just have to be careful of this getting this too close to the edge of your uh, cardstock. You might want to make this piece a little bit longer. I don't know. This one's the same way. It's just a close cut. The other card that I was thinking about making for you um, when I start doing Christmas cards is this one. I thought this turned out really pretty. It's using the poinsettia dies and then this is the um, Grace's Garden dot from Grace's Garden one of the dies and then this is the inside that's another I used the uh, I don't know what that paper's called but it's fuzzy it's like felt or something but it turned out really pretty, I thought. Anyway, that's the cards for today. Remember to shop with me. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And go to my blog and you'll see all the sizes and dimensions over there. So, you have a blessed day and have fun stamping. <laughs>